Hey everybody, this is your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife. That's right, I'm satisfied. And I want to welcome you to Solution Sundays at Woo! 7. That's what you got. And I got my girls with me. Yeah. That's right, Solution Sundays is back. And I'm not alone right now since I released this or whatever. I have my girls and I want to introduce you to them first. First, we have Jillian Blackwell. That's hey, right. Boy. My girl. And then we have Wesson. Yeah. My Chaldean friend. Hey, Chaldeans, I hope you're in the house. This is my cousin Ray. She gonna, she gonna be like, Toy, why did you say that name? That's my cousin Ray, because I'm gonna keep saying it doing the thing. And this is my sister, Dr. Ty. Big selling author of Single Saved and Having Sex and several other books. Woo! Look at all the food, y'all. Uh-huh. We about to get down. We about to get down. But first, can y'all pray with us? Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to come into your presence. We thank you for this time. Father, we pray that we be uh, wisdom and that, that you offer us wisdom that we may give it to those that are hearing right now. Father, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. We ask that you sanctify, cleanse it, and purify for the nourishment of our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's get the grub. Ladies, y'all can go ahead and start eating and everything. You gotta tell me one time. <laughs> <laughs> Jill say, you ain't got to tell me but one time. They didn't hear you. You got to talk up, okay? Okay. okay. All right, so they're going to be eating and we're going to be answering some questions and things of that sort. And so right now, we're going to dive right on in. We're not even going to waste any time. Now listen. I want you right now, before you get started, push the share button because we are about to deal with some issues as it relates to marriage, as it relates to dating, as it relates to engagement, as it relates to adultery, as it relates to, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing in life, okay? So, wait a minute, that's uh, Google telling me my timer uh, for, I got something else. Out of all this food, I still have something else for them, right? Let's see if it's ready. Uh-huh. Shrimp nachos, look at that. Y'all yeah. <laughs> want to get a little of that right now? Just reach over there and get some of that right there. Get some of that right now. Uh-huh. Yep, see. Okay, Google, stop timer. We not shy. You not shy? Uh-uh. I forgot to put the sour cream out for y'all, but y'all will be okay for right now, right? Can I get the sour cream? Yeah, you can, but you got to go outside to the refrigerator. <laughs> so... I'm going to put that down for a minute because I can eat that right now, but I'm not going to be rude and eating while I'm talking. But I'm going to put it on Dr. Ty Adams. She's going to take us to the first question or situation that we have to deal with. Listen, everybody, if you want to join Solution Sundays, you remain, you will remain anonymous. Inbox me here your issues. I, I only answer questions on Solution Sundays at 7. I don't do them outside of it. So if you want questions about relationships, marriage, uh, dating, engagement, go to my inbox or you can go to MrsToyBanks.com and inbox me there. So right now, I'm going to uh, bring it over here to Dr. Ty Adams right now. Ty, what is the first issue that we have? Come on, um, you put the camera on her, Jana. What's the first issue? The first question is, okay. I totally agree with you, my sister, that your body does not belong to you and to stop withholding sex from your husband. But answer me this question. What if your husband cheated on you and then came back home and was diagnosed with HIV. <laughs> what then? Do you still give him sex? Please tell me. Thank you. Right now, I'm feeling like a puppet in my marriage. We have four beautiful years. I've uh, been together for 15 years. Yesterday, I celebrated my anniversary. And could you imagine, not even a card or even a Because right now, I'm... At my last straw with this man, I'm supposed to call my husband. Please, can you help me? Thank you. Oh, so okay, so let's get the facts here. They've been married for how long time? Eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. He's cheated how many times? Or he's he cheated? What did he say? Well, well, he cheated and he came back home. He cheated and he came back home with HIV. Yeah, with HIV. With HIV. Oh, he brought mm. some back. So he brought some back with him. Right. Yes. Uh, the girl and her disease. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And she. How how many kids they have? They have uh, four kids. Put the camera on them. You got to move it around a little bit. Let's see some movement. Uh, Jana, everybody say hi, Jana. Hi, hi, hi. Jana. Oh, Jana <laughs> is on. Jana is shaking me. Head. And she's uh, a little aggravated with me because she's sleepy. But okay, so you said, Ty, she's uh, been married for 
Eight years, right? Eight years. Eight years. Like and together 15 total. Together 15. Wow, that's a long time. So that was seven that's years that we're dating. And so ladies, <laughs> I want to bring, before I answer the question, I always put it to you. So this woman, she had a husband who's cheated on her. Now he's brought a disease home and he still wants to have She shouldn't have sex. He got a disease. Exactly. Right, she needs to protect herself. At she's all got to protect herself. And, and I think that that's why I'm even going back to the video you're talking about uh, that you did about withholding sex, which you did an amazing job on, that some people misconstrued what you were saying. You're not saying condoning abuse, rape, or things of that manner, uh, of that manner. and so he stepped out on the marriage. Right. That's one thing. Right. Right. So there's already adultery in the marriage. She do not have to have sex with her husband. Right. And because now he's already broken the covenant of that marriage. Right. Mm -hmm. So secondly, now he's bringing her the disease that will harm her health. Right. Her uh, health. So absolutely not. She is not under any circumstances obligated, uh, obligated to have sex with her husband mm -hmm. at all. Okay. So I, 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 that's a yes, but then it's an almost a no. And I'm going to tell you why. Almost okay. a no what? Well, this is a yes and a no answer to me. Okay. That, that, that to me is a yes and a no. Because one, the question is first is, what do you want to do? Are you, are you trying to uh, restore this marriage? Or do you want to leave it? Because you have a decision now. He's committed adultery. Mm -hmm. Now you have a decision. Are you going to stay in the marriage? Or are you, do you want to give it up? Now, if you want to work on the ma marriage, well, yeah. She's going to eventually have to have sex. However... She's got to take precaution. They need to go and sit with the doctor. Wait a minute. They need to go and sit with the doctor. And there are many people who have diseases out here, y'all. And their spouses have sex with them. And there's precautions, safety precautions, that they have to take in order to do it because they decided to stay together. Right. Now, if she decides to leave, which it seems like she's on her last leg, the problem with relationships is people will not make a decision. You're being decisive. You're going to stay there or you're going to leave. They want to stay there but then be aggravated and then don't want to still hold the position as wife or husband. You can't do that. If you're going to stay in the marriage, right, you're going to have to go get counseling. I'm not saying jump in the bed with them right now. I'm saying go to the doctor, get the necessary information, learn the precautions, Learn what you're up against and see what y'all can do in order to continue to have sex if you're going to stay in the marriage. Right. If you're not, absolutely no. You don't have to lay down with him. You don't have to kiss him. You don't have to do nothing. What you do have to do is get your butt down to the courthouse and finalize that divorce so you so don't continue I'm to do that. You, I'm, I, I'm asking you. She, so now this is not an instant decision. Right. This is, you know, this is something that's not instantaneous. So she still, in the interim, have to make a decision that if she's still deciding, she can withhold sex from her husband right. until she makes this decision as to about what she's going to do. Because she's under no obligation to have sex with her husband. You're, right. Well, you're dealing with two issues. One, right. infidelity. Right. Yes. What, you, right. what's, what, what, what was the root of you leaving in the first place? Mm -hmm. So you left. You had sex. <coughs> unprotected sex, obviously. You brought a disease. So they, they need to get to the root of the cause. And then you get to the root of the cause. Now, now I got a bigger issue. Now you got a disease. Now I got a disease. So you got a counseling session right. and a doctor session right. that you have to have. That's right. what I'm saying. You got a double whammy that you got to deal with. But here's the deal. I remember in the Bible when the people brought the woman who had committed adultery mm -hmm. to Jesus. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And so all of them wanted to accuse her mm -hmm. of this bad thing. They wanted to stone her to death. Right? And many of us look at this man... And want to stone him to death. But many of us have made bad decisions. And we have been thankful to God. Many of us have sex outside of marriage, right? Many of us have unprotective sex, right? Before we met Jesus, okay? Some of y'all want to act That's like y'all holy. I ain't having wrong no man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't wrong no man. I don't know what you talking about. I am a virgin. <laughs> old things are going to away. The oh, whole, all things are coming oh, away. But that old person that you, you, you used to be, she was safe and thankful to God that she didn't get a disease, right? Mm -hmm. So when no, you no, gave no, your no, life no, to Christ, no, no, no. he forgave you. I'm getting to a point here. He forgave you. Just like that woman, he, she's now like, what do I do? All her, all her accusers have walked away. He said, uh, okay, you've been forgiven. Sin no more. Turn away from your sin. Right, yeah. So you got to stop. So here's the thing. If she's going to stay, she's going to have to forgive him. 
if she's going to leave, Absolutely. she's going to have to forgive him. Right. Because right. forgiveness is required whether you stay or go. Absolutely. The next thing is if you're going to stay, you need to get counseling from a psychiatrist, marriage counseling, someone, and you have to go to the doctor to get understanding yep. about what needs to take place if you're going to continue in this. Right. Because if you're going to continue with the covenant, guess what? God is expecting you to forgive him. Yeah. Isn't he? Absolutely. Because God forgives us and throw it away, throw our uh, sins in the lake of forgetfulness, never to remember it again. But when it's time for us to forgive, we want to say, well... It, well, Lord, um, it's going to take me 10 weeks. It's going to take me 10 years. It's, no, 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 no. We're either going to forgive or we're not. Now, I'm not saying that the situation doesn't need time. It does. It needs counseling. It needs a chair and a therapist. Mm -hmm. You can't Absolutely. handle I think. I think we got to get past this idea that we can handle the life situations without help. We right. all need help. And so that's why I got y'all here. Right. Help, right? right? We all need help. God said, fitly join together, we build up the body of Christ. And so I believe that, yes, she needs to get help. But if she's, she's got to make a decision. Right. Because that's going to determine if she's going to have to have sex or even have to go to the doctor. And, that, and, and then you not, got kids involved in this right. as well. Then you got Four kids. Children. So, yeah. so yeah. she's got a big so, decision. And, and that's why a lot of times women stay because of result of the children. Right. But that's not always the answer in terms of, should I stay just based based upon yeah, I have children? Because right. he can still be a father to those children without her being, you know, still in the marriage with him. But then, again, that's up for consideration, prayer, right. uh, the therapy, all of those things. But I would not have sex right now. Uh, of course. It, it confuses <laughs> the entire situation. Right. I, gotta I, gotta make, I can't get to a decision. Now. But let me say this. You said something. Oftentimes people say, you know, there was a time people would say, we stayed for the children. Or a financial right? reason. Right? Yes. Or a financial reason or whatever. Then now we're living in a day where people tell you, don't stay for the children, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be clear on this. I think that sometimes you should stay for the children. But I don't think you should just stay for the children and remain the same. I think you should stay for the children, stay for the children at first, but seek God in prayer and go get the help you need in order to restore the marriage because you stand for the kids might just restore the marriage that really was just going through. Listen, all of us are going to go through stuff. We're all going to go through mess. And people are abandoning great marriages out here. Make Great marriages are falling apart. And if you're going to stay for the kids, I'm like, okay, stay. Because there's an opportunity there for the marriage to be restored. Absolutely. But there but are then, some it, situations. It's got to be dependent on the rest of the Every situation is different because yes. if you're beating on me, I'm not staying and letting my kids watch that. Right. I'm not staying for the kids. Because it's a detriment to the kids. So you're exactly. not helping the kids. Right. No, 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 no you're helping yourself because your eye is getting dotted. I'm right. not, we're not staying getting beat on. Okay. That, that ain't what we're but doing. Then, All right. Can we pause for that for a second? When you say staying for the kids, what, is the, what are the kids seeing in a marriage relationship? Are they seeing mom and dad sleep in separate rooms so they get, they get the idea of this is what a marriage looks like? Mm -hmm. So you want to be cautious about Stay for the kids, but what are you what are you exhibiting in your home? Yes. Okay, so are let me be clear on the second okay. part of what I said. Okay. When you're going to decide to stay for the kids, make a second part of that decision to stay and go get help. Okay. So that you don't continue to damage the kids, right. although you stand for the kids. Right. Even if your spouse, they, they, yes. they oh, they know. They they know. Know. Mom and dad don't hug, they don't kiss, they not affect, they don't do nothing. They know there's a difference. Right. So they you need talk to go get your friend in the car on the way home. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Dad talk dad got been talking to Tanya for two hours in the garage. And then and here's, the, here's the other thing. If you're gonna stay, you gotta be respectful. You if, if you are uh if you're gonna stay, come on, stay also faithful to the marriage. Right. right. Not yes. just faithful to the children. If you're gonna stay there for the children, stay right. faithful. I'm not to staying the for the children as a result of just for the children's exactly. sake. Because no. my children gonna be blessed. Right. right. You know, I'm not gonna Period. put myself in under no duress or my children. But I'm gonna right. tell you this because that's a fallacy with a lot of people. We do things under under the guise of I'm a Christian, but there's also wisdom in a Christian believer. Right. You know, but, I, but here's the problem, Ty. My problem is that so many people give up in marriage yes. so quickly, yeah. so easily, that they never try. And if there's an excuse, whether it be finances or children, to stand there to figure it out a little bit longer, I'm for that. If you're going to go get the help, yeah. if you're going to be respectful to the marriage and be faithful, if you're going to um, show those kids that you love mommy and that you respect daddy. Right. 
So the kids are uh, watching us. We are an example to them. And so when we don't respect what God told us to honor. Now, li listen, we all got in front of God and said, I do to this person. We made a covenant. Covenants are not to be taken lightly. Yeah. It is to be taken serious and God don't play with it. Okay, Ty, let's move on to the next question. Before we move on, but here's the problem. This is the reason why a lot of Christian marriages are in divorce right now. Because of what we did prior to marriage, we have not developed or understand what relationships and covenant is. And so we damaged ourselves in our singleness and then expect that we're going to have a great marriage. And then we say, oh, marriage doesn't work. No, the two people that's in it is not working. It's not working, right. They're not working the information that yes. they're ignoring. God said we perish for the lack of knowledge, not because it wasn't there, but because you rejected it. Yeah. And he said then, because you rejected it, now I'm going to reject your children. Yes. So you not getting information, you not growing in knowledge and wisdom, not only affects you, but it affects your children and your children's children. Yeah. And so we got a huge problem. It's not just us. I think married couples need to get this. Get this. Hear me out. Your marriage ain't just about you. Mm -hmm. It ain't just about your spouse. It ain't even just about your kids. At the end of the day, the Bible says we were made for God and by God for his use. And so God has a purpose for us. And while we keep playing these games and doing everything that is opposite of what God called us to do, he already set the success map for marriage and relationships. We just got to decide to follow it. Go ahead, Ty. Let's go get to the next question. I'm here for the food. I'm thinking that last question though. That was the bitch question. The anniversary not getting the rose not getting the cold. That was the same oh, yeah. person. That, that was the same wait, person. Wait, 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 this is a this is a rate uh, response here. She want to deal with Sheree the wanna, Sheree wanna, Sheree wanna I didn't know that was the same person. With the yeah, with two out of rose. She got some real issues. That's why he went out. He was on his way out already. He ain't brought a rose, a flower. <laughs> He didn't read a card. He Come brought up. You become he conditioned. He brought up. He brought up. He become conditioned to accept that foolishness. That is exactly what you're going to get. My birthday is not going to come around. First of all, I, my birthday is in September. I picked out my birthday gift in January. Mm -hmm. so I to get my birthday. I mean, and that's not the first time. So right. how long have you you been married together? For 15 years and married, what, eight, eight? How long has it been that he has done it? Surely this man has no respect for the marriage. He cheated right. out. And home. how long has he been doing it? And yep. then he's done this to you and your anniversary still come around and he's not even trying to be on his P's and Q's. Right. Like, I gotta make it up to her. I gotta make sure. So let me ask you something, Ray. Y'all need to understand this about Ray. Ray's been married before, but she's single now, right? So Ray, tell us what when you get married and your <laughs> husband forget a gift for it's your over. birthday, he's not so how is he not? Teach the woman. The woman don't know what you're doing. What are you doing to make sure he doesn't forget? Didn't I just kill you? I picked up my... You <laughs> hold on. I picked up my... I told him what I wanted for my birthday in January. Uh-huh. My birthday is September. You got nine months. You got eight months. Hey, did you? <laughs> so my birthday is not going to get here and you say you didn't. You can't afford it. You, have, you had nine months of money for this. Oh. She already know how to do the helping I part. You say go. you gonna help him out. Wait a minute. I will go to the jewelry store, put something in there, wait, and come home, bring you the ticket. I'll mm -hmm. bring you the ticket. So you don't have an excuse. It's not gonna be just like somebody said, my husband can't shop. You don't have to shop. I said just that. Let me let's make it clear. I said, okay, I will go. Why are you out? But, <laughs> So when you allow stuff, That's it. The, the first time a guy punch you, hit you, 
You sign up to be beat. If he don't, if you don't send him a message that you'll never do this again to me. The first time he miss a gift from you yeah. and you say nothing, you do nothing. You send no message that this is not acceptable. Right. You have to stand firm in respect because right. you don't even have to holler. You know, we got so much power, we don't even have to yell. Right. All you have to say is, I expect this for my birthday and I pray that you have it. <laughs> <laughs> When he don't go get it, go buy yourself a gift, wrap it up, and say, thank you. This is what you want. We have to be, we have, listen, first of all, you got to, in order to get respect, you have to have, people have to this show that you single. respect yourself. You got to respect yourself. Because I can buy myself a gift. Yes, absolutely. And I'm not going to, listen, I'm going to still honor you. I'm going to still respect you, but I'm not going to be happy. And I'm going to tell you something about a man. Mm -hmm. He wants his wife happy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. He should. He, he should. He should. Right. He should. Happy life. That's but nice. listen, I'm going to tell you this. If you cheating on me and not getting a gift, I, I'm glad you cheated on me. Right. Because it's over. Now I'm done. Right. He's showing clearly that he has and abandoned right the marriage. He's abandoned the marriage. He has abandoned though. that relationship. And she's still holding on. He's all signs. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck. It quacks like it a duck. It quacks like a duck. It's a duck. It's a duck. It's a duck. And you don't have to guess. You don't have to call your friends what you think. What you think? Ask your four-year-old. Your four-year-old will tell you this yes. is not right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do what ducks live? They live outside. Outside. <laughs> That's what you want to be. In the cold. Next question, Ty. Let's right. move on. We'll never get to the next question. Sorry for whoever. It's yes, it is. Whoever is going through that, we're praying for you that you have... The wisdom and the courage that you have born again women who are yes. filled with the Holy Ghost, yes. who can pray with you, who can support you, who can channel that energy and, 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 and hold you up because it's going to be a trying time for you. And then also leadership and counseling um, is going to help you be able to navigate you. You can get through this yes. and your children get through this and you're going to come out on the other side. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is why God says, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves. Every person that's a believer should be a part of a body of Christ. You should be a part of a church. Right. You should have someone over you as a spiritual lead mm -hmm. to pray for you and guide yeah. you. You should have a church to go to that can pray for you. Uh, you and your husband. And yeah. sometimes even if your husband don't go, you should have some type of leadership, someone that you're accountable to. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing life alone. We were not brought to do, uh, uh, born to do life alone. No. So you've got to reach out. Listen, I have all different types of friends from different backgrounds, single and married, who love God and we support one another. So when we down, the other one picks these, uh, pick the other one up. Well, we're not often down, are we, ladies? But when we do, we're going to pray through it. Come on. Okay, Ty, so the next question. Ty is trying to you mess up. <laughs> you breaking, you messing up my flow. No. I, I, am I you messing up your flow or your fast? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I see the fans. Yeah, she's trying to eat fans. That's the fans. Oh, she okay. That's the fans. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Right. Right. Go to the next okay. question. Is dressing on My fiance and I are due to get married soon, but the issue is when we have fights, he makes me feel that it's always my fault. Mm -hmm. He does not own up to anything. Anything. Wow. When we have a fight, I'm always the one saying, "Let's talk." Not him. He want. He won't speak to me for days. What? Wow. wow. He acting like and a girl. And he's, so like me. <laughs> and he's a. He's your fiance. Jill. Oh, yes, yeah, the fiance. Oh. Let me and know this out of Jill's way. No, I'm no. finding it so difficult. I feel emotionally drained. What should I do? First off, if anyone have any questions, you can submit it to me. I'm the only one that can see these questions. I'm gonna leave your name anonymous, so you can inbox Toy. Or if you don't want to remain anonymous, you can post a question at in the, the bottom of, um, of the video as well. So In the comment. In the comment section. So uh, who wants to dive in on that? Because I have a lot to Ty, say. Get some points there right quick. I, I miss a little. Okay. So. My fiance are due to get married soon. The issue is when we have fights, he makes me feel Stop. that it's always in my engagement. Fault. I ain't got nothing to say. This is an engagement. I'm tired of people having problems on the other side, right. on the other side of marriage. Let me say this to you. Before you, I'm going to give you the floor next. Yeah. The Bible says with marriage come okay. trouble. Many, Not, it said many troubles. It said many troubles. <laughs> so if you're having many troubles in engagement, don't get married. Because God said on the other side of marriage, 
is when you're going to have troubles. If you're having consistent troubles with somebody that you haven't even tied the knot with, right. I want you to times the thing that he is doing by a thousand because that's what marriage is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you're dating someone and you're thinking about marriage and you say, well, this is one thing. Well, if you can times that one thing by a thousand and, think about and still thing. do it, think marry him. But if you think, yeah. don't even do it. Bad. Think yep. about what the thing is. He never makes me feel good when we're arguing. Yep. Mm -hmm. He makes me feel bad. He doesn't talk to me for days. Mm, days. Can you know But see, uh, let me say this. Like come, on, say this. come on, Sharon. How long have they been mm -hmm. in a relationship? Mm -hmm. It doesn't say that. These are the things you need to put into consideration. How long have you been into the relationship? When are you due to get married? Why are you planning on being married? I can, I can identify with this on both sides. I was the person, I don't want to talk to you. You're not going to hear from me for two, three days. But I was, I was put on the flip side of that. And it's not a good feeling. Mm -hmm. If you not, cannot communicate and put yourself in another person's shoes and view the situation from their mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. you, don't have any, you don't have a foundation worth building on. Yeah, that's right. good. That's yeah, mutual that's respect. You that's cannot, good. if you're in a relationship and you're shedding a person out and you're not, um, you're not referencing their feelings, that's showing a lack of respect. Why you who want to be in a relationship that where they feel like they're not being respected? And you can't talk. Right. There's no communication. Talk. I can't voice my opinion. You can't be in a relationship and when a person tells you how they feel, right. you get mad at them. Right. You can't get mad about how I feel. Right. This is how my this these are my feelings. Yeah. This yeah. is not argument. I want you to know how I'm feeling. You should recognize that and change what you're doing to make me feel that way. But that's right. That's I'm respect. sorry. That's you how you can't feel. Do, exactly. Yeah. I didn't, that's not my intention. That that's not how I perceive the situation, but because you're saying it makes you feel like this, I'll change it. Right. If you can't, you're not gonna get nowhere if you're right. not showing me short. Exactly. Exactly. Jim, the top three reasons for divorce is communication, sex, and money. Uh huh. If you are having problems prior to marriage, the main thing is communication, sex, yep. and money. Number yep. one. Right. It's right. Communication. Top three. Right. And usually the reason why the communication. Go ahead. I want you to put the camera on her. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Put it no, on. No, it's the communication because if you're, there's no communication, I mean, there is no relationship. Right. 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 People, right. This right. relationship right. is just gonna <laughs> fall down. Right. You know, it's just gonna go. You know, into a deep trouble yeah. because. You're not communicating. You don't know how that other person. You cannot read their mind. Right. right. When there's no communication, you don't know what, like how they how they fall throughout the day. Right. They don't share stuff with you. You don't know what they're going through. Right. So when they come home and they're all angry at you, you're like, um, like when they're all angry, you think it's you, right. and then that's when the problem is gonna start. But really, the issue came from outside. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. because they haven't shared what what's happened in their life with you. And there is no there's a lack of communication there. That's why now there is a fight between a husband and wife right, mm -hmm. right. that was created from an outside. All problem. because you won't open your mouth. Yeah. How many times have you heard people say, he got an attitude because I'm mad. Yeah. I'm not even mad at him. Yeah. Right. Well, well you're, you should communicate that. Right. Exactly. Because if you right. come in and you frying and slamming doors, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I always do. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> now I'm going to be mad. Right. Right. One, one thing people take for granted is marriage is a business. You are running your household. You're running your children. If we can't communicate, how are we running? Did you pay the bill? Yes. You know, there are things yeah. that you have to Did you pay the bills? What do you mean that? It's six o'clock. It's still in front of the building. But you're not even running the bill. You're not a bad bill. You don't have no And people, you know, we want, when we enter into marriage, we, we, everything is fluff, fluff. I love you, sex, everything else. But you're running a business. If you can't communicate, your business, the foundation is going to fail. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I was notorious for this when I was uh, early on in the marriage I was a silent killer I would kill you with silence for months <laughs> I think that's a I'm gonna kill you that's a woman's thing it's the worst thing you can do uh -huh. and my husband one day he said listen here boo boo I can't do this no more that's because funny. he would ask me what's wrong nothing, nothing. Exactly. Right? Uh, familiar with that y'all I know y'all do that I would say nothing but then I'm uh, really I really have a problem ice ice come on out Bye. I really have a problem. And then finally he said one day, because everything was fine when he left out to work. Get out, Ice. But then when he returned move, work, move, move. when he returned, come here, Ice. Sit. Sit. Okay. My dog, Ice. Y'all see Ice? Say hi, Ice. <laughs> talk, Ice. Ice, talk. Speak, Ice. Speak. She don't see no food. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, I ain't giving her nothing. <laughs> I, what I would do was, I would, um, Hold it in, and then he came home one day. Mind you, when he left, everything was fine. But when he came home, he came home to Godzilla. Because all I was thinking about was what happened with three months ago. 
Lord. And he finally said, I can't do this no more. The next time I ask you, what's wrong with you? And you say nothing. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Mm -hmm. So I had to train. I don't know what was wrong with me. I had a problem with dealing with uh, confronting confrontation. Right. You have to deal with the issue. You yeah. got to confront it. You got to talk about it. You got to deal with it. And just let it built in. You know? Right. You were, but men and women on both ends have to be open-minded. Because right. people ask you what's wrong, they really don't want to hear. Yeah, that's You true. have to be willing to accept what, what's going, what, the yeah. per, what your mate has to say. Right. right. I don't care if you're willing to accept it or not. My job is to take women. Let me say this to you. You are correct, right? But I'm not going to withhold my conversation if I don't think you're going to understand me. Because... Sometimes I held back from that. But I do have to use wisdom when I go in. Especially with a man. It's not a good time when he's watching football. It's not a good time when yeah, he just got off you work. You gotta pick your time. Yeah, and, and, and then the way you enter the conversation, you gotta think about the end in mind. That's you can't go in saying, say. listen, I wanna talk to you and I'm sick of this mess. You, the, <laughs> the conversation is done. Uh -uh. We as women have to use wisdom if we want to win... Right? Yeah. And we want the marriage to win. Not just you. We want the marriage to win. We got to go in with the end in mind. Okay. And I know at the end of the conversation, I want us to be at peace and joy and get back to having sex. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, with that being said, what well, do you do when you, you are. Can you get up? <laughs> what do you do? No. What, what are your suggestions? you have any tips for a person like this person that is trying to communicate and her fiance does not see his wrong in anything. Or she got a man, man, man. teacher, ma'am, I mean, can I can I get the floor? First of all, <laughs> you know when there's a first of all, uh -uh, there's gonna be a second, second and a third of all. The problem with us is that we go get a degree for being a doctor. Mm -hmm. We go to school to become a cosmetologist or whatever is necessary. We even have to go to school to learn how to drive. But we do not have things that we do to prepare for marriage and relationships. And so we have no idea and no, no clue as to what we're getting into. And this issue is going to be supersized, okay? The number one on, on the menu at McDonald's, just supersize it, okay? It's going to be, it's going to become, the King James become amplified once you get married. And the problem is, is that if you are already having these problems right now, I'm not saying that the person should not go move forward and marry them, but they should push the pause button. Right. right. Yeah. They need to pull back, even if the marriage is in three months or whatever the case is, and get some counseling, some courses, go to marriage university somewhere. Yeah. Well, first of all, you need to go to communication school. Exactly, because <laughs> it, it, he's clearly showing her that he does not know how to communicate. He's tucking tail and running and don't talk to her for days. He's going to do that when they get married. Go get your phone. Please. Yeah, Jill, I thought you turned it up. I thought that. I did. Too. Silence was the key yeah. before we started, didn't you? Uh -huh. So, what he's going to do is he's going to tuck tail in the marriage. And, and the worst thing for me as a woman is for a man to not man up in his responsibility and to be able to effectively acute communicate me, with me as his wife. And he's showing those signs already. See, a lot of That's this, my here's the thing a lot of single women are not happily single because you're taking this garbage. In a relationship, because you're afraid to go back being alone, you don't want to be with yourself. You're not happily single. Because there's no way I would take a relationship with a man who's dogging me out, going off on me in a conversation, and then you're going to go ghost for days? <laughs> we're, we're no longer in a relationship. I'm too happy single to be stuck in a relationship that I'm unhappy That's in. That's right. You dating yeah. Gas with a friendly uh -huh. ghost. Right. right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He might be nice for one of but he's still a ghost. And, <laughs> and time is on your side. You know, oftentimes they want to rush into it. You, something that you just said, Toy. You said, uh, "I was a person that I would I wouldn't talk to you, or you wouldn't know what was going on." But you matured in that. You can mature either in the relationship and have all types of trouble, or you can mature by yourself yep. and get prepared and ready. And I say, get your life together. Get your life together <laughs> before first. you get with me. No, I'm no. gonna need you to get your listen. And we're not gonna be perfect before. Right. We still gotta get. There's a lot of things we got to work out in marriage. That's why the Bible, the Bible says with marriage comes trouble because that whole coming together is trouble all by itself. Two different people. Mm -hmm. And going into one house, living with each other, you fart at night, all this stuff. It's just, 
Yeah. You know, you got habits that I don't have. I you had a couple. Rolling over my right, snoring. Snoring. I can't go to sleep because like, I'm a snoring. light sleeper. Oh my goodness. I had a couple who uh, had a problem. They said, uh, a friend of mine, she said, we had this problem for two and a half years, for the first two and a half years of their marriage. They, uh, he, he was brought up with the ketchup. Um, she was brought up with the ketchup in the cabinet. <laughs> He's and I'm mad that you ain't got the Fiji apple. I don't. The Panera bread. And then she was brought up with the ketchup. And he was brought up with the ketchup in the refrigerator. refrigerator. They argued for two and a half years until Dumb. finally Dumb a light bulb, where, light bulb came on two and a half years later <laughs> with the wife. And she said, why don't I just end this and buy two bottles of ketchup? <laughs> Sometimes the answer is sitting right there. But yeah. because we want to be right and because we want to be selfish and something you said earlier, if you don't have empathy, in other words, That's you don't good. put yourself in the other person's shoes mm -hmm. and feel how they feel and have some type of mercy or grace about that, I mean, what are you doing? You need to stay single then. Yeah. If it's all just right. about oh, you. He tripping again. Oh, she tripping again. Right. right. You know. So, okay, Ty, Ty is making up. You. <laughs> she got caught. Ty, like, what's, 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 what's we got another. We all, I told you I came for the food. <laughs> Can we get the Can next get question, question, please? Sheesh. <laughs> See, this is why I do Solution Sundays by myself. <laughs> because of this, of this reason. Okay. No, I'm having a ball. Love y'all. Love the ladies that are here. Are y'all having a good time? If y'all have any questions about what we're saying, Ty should be grabbing those questions out of the comments and saying something to her. <laughs> but we'll see in the middle of her eating. Ty, what's the next issue? Okay, so. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, show them the food. Oh, 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 I got one. Hmm. Hmm. How do I get my wife to love me and respect me as her husband? As her husband. husband. We're Christians, yeah. too. I lost my business, mm. and now I don't have income. Our marriage is on the rocks. Please wow. help. Mm. How Sweet do baby I get Jesus. my husband? How do I get my wife to respect me. Let me say this. Say respect, love, love, and respect. Yeah. And what he really means is it's respect. respect. Uh huh. That's what he yeah. That's the number what one made. need of a man is respect. They both need to read that book called Love well, and Respect. Because she, she, she's disrespectful. You know what I mean? When people are wrong in the marriage, they're the ones that don't go to church. They're the ones that don't pray. They're the ones that don't read their word. They're a mess. And they are headed by the spot. Well, not all the time, but what I'm saying is, you can't be in the Word and then at one point, it doesn't move. You're you know, lying to me. You know, you, you gotta, if, if I'm in that Word, at one point, the transformation is going to take place. Usually, I have found when there are two spouses, there is one tie. Can you turn that off? I'm trying. You got to try to, you know, in order to do it. Okay, usually in a marriage, there's usually two spouses. One is usually stronger spiritually. The other one, sometimes the one is usually stronger. And the one that is stronger is frustrated because they see all that the person needs is mm -hmm. prayer and reading the word. And, the, and the solution will be right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, and I bet you any amount of money, that there's some frustration there. And then there's sometimes that they both go to church and they both halfway in. Right. If you halfway in, you're not going to get all of God. Right. You're not going to get all of the benefits. Me and my husband, were half, we were halfway in early on, playing games. That's why we almost divorced several times. So the first thing that a man has to do in order to get respect from his wife is one, demand it, period. You're the man of the house. What does that You're look like? What it is, what is, what now, that it look doesn't look like disrespect. God says, is he loving his wife? Well, I was just about yeah. to say that. The Bible says this. Husbands, husbands love, your, love wife your wife as Christ yeah. loved the church. Because his wife feels that's the answer. love from him, she, then the respect is going to come natural. Yes. Right. Well, is he, he loving him? Is he loving her just on the inside? He's not showing it to her. She does, She feels like he doesn't love her. Has, what has he done? He needs to look at himself first. Examine himself. Well, yeah. I think this has something to do with him losing his business. Yeah. Okay. That's and the she's scared. So now he feels like yeah. she's not respecting him because she's But she, she was out buying them red bottoms when the business was She's not doing him <laughs> as the particular That's what I'm saying. Right. He needs to examine himself first. He needs to see, like, what, am, what am I Why doing? Am I showing her enough love? Do I love her? Does she know how much I love her? 
Does he like really like you know what I mean? Does, like, does she see him trying to trying, do, trying to bring some additional? Right, because the, the portion is so wide open. Right, that right. that is gonna come natural. Right. It's gonna come natural. However, if a woman is caught up in fear about money, yeah, I don't care how much her husband is loving her. If she if she allowed the enemy to come in and get caught up in fear about, oh my goodness, you don't have no job. We're gonna lose I can, house because she was probably used to the security okay. of what he brought right. with that business. But I'm now sure he gone. didn't lose his business overnight. This didn't happen in one day. Of right. course. That's for one. Right. We should not be living check to check, people. Right. If you see your, account. your income, the account is the account. Right. It's the account. If you see your income is decreasing, your yeah. lifestyle needs to decrease. Absolutely. Just because you can afford to have three car payments, don't mean you should. Right. 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 Absolutely. Just because you can afford at this point in time to go out and get this five thousand dollar five thousand square foot house, don't mean you should. Right. What about? Planning for the future. Right. Absolutely. He owns his own business. Anything can happen. Right. Did you yep. prepare? Yep. And you can't blame him and want to disrespect him because That's right. you have a responsibility right. in this marriage also. Right. Like Jill said, it's a business. Yes, That's right. Just and even if he is the breadwinner, don't mean you just sit back and Oh, you don't know. Yeah, what but, they, but this is what they mean. And they don't let you get involved with their business. Uh -uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. No, because it's not. <laughs> What's that face like? <laughs> do that face. Bring that up to our face again. No, no, do, no. That, do, do that again. Uh, right. Do that. <laughs> no, no, I disagree with you. <laughs> no, because I want to know if I'm going to come home and I have a foreclosure note on come my door. Come on now. Right. You're not going to. You can pay the bills, but I need to see those receipts. Yes. I'm going to log on to the bank account. More receipts, right? I'm going to log on to the bank account and make sure this paid. stuff is paid That's right. on time every month. That's and right. I'm going to make sure there's a savings account That's right. in case you you don't make it the same amount of money your business didn't bring in and the same amount of money last month. Right. Well, you have a lot of, and, and, and there's another, remember, communication, sex, and money are the top three reasons for the divorce. But you because a lot of married been. couples do not talk about money. The wife is not uh, some in some cultures. Yeah. Um. Uh, she uh, West knows more than I know in some cultures. They don't even allow their wife to even know what's going they on with their money. Uh -huh. And then even in our culture, we got people who saying this is my money and right. my money is my money and your yeah. money is yeah. your yeah. money. And when everything starts to fall apart, like if he like him losing his business or if your job closed the doors and you're without a business now. It's all about your money now. But remember, it was all just your money. Right. And your money was your money. But here's the thing. This is why God said, through richer or through poor, right. we don't respect the vows. Right. We, the Bible says, with marriage comes trouble. That's one of the troubles that's going to happen. Okay. Okay, so the question he's asking is, what can he do? Yes. Right, that's, that's the question. Right there. What can he, he said, what can he do? Right? Yeah, absolutely. To make her love and respect right. him. Well, the <laughs> first thing we talked about is you got to communicate. You got to say, babe, this is how I'm feeling. I feel as though you're not respecting me. And this is what that means. You don't respect me when you holler at me. You don't respect me when you, he got to tell her what... Because it may, she may think like, you know, I'm a little frustrated with this. And she might just be lashing. I, we don't know. He's not telling us what she, what right, she's, she's doing, not, he's not but he something. needs to communicate to her. This is res disrespectful to me. This I mean, is how when this you is how this, I feel. This is how I feel. Right, but right. then she, I, I would imagine there's some fear with her, Absolutely. and she's trying to figure out what right. is going on here. Right. He needs to sit down with a plan and say, "This is what I." As the provider and the he head needs of that to go get some financial. Education right. <laughs> or Sit, the, the plan. Or this the is, plan. you know, I'm gonna work plan. this job for four months until I open, reopen my business back up. He needs to sit down. But Ty, a lot of plan. men don't know how to plan. No. What I'm saying, that's why he needs to, and, and he doesn't have to. He should have some kind of plan where he's gonna bring income to the family. <laughs> what I'm what, I know, but what I'm saying, if he just lost his job, most, if, if he's mm -hmm. a great man, he's if he's a great father I mean, or a great husband. He's probably already out hitting the pavement trying to find another way. I'm just going to assume that. If he's a great man, that's what great men do. Because and whenever me and my husband have been in any financial yeah. trouble, yeah. trouble, my husband was out hitting the pavement making stuff happen. That's what great hopefully men that's do. What, hopefully hopefully that's that's what he's, he's doing. doing, right? But even if you're doing that, there are men who are out there working hard. There are women that got a problem with respecting their husbands. And he's crying out to say, listen, I'm sick of her dogging me. I'm sick of her doing this. Or whatever she's doing is making him feel, watch your shirt, is making him feel less of a man. Right. And I'm going to tell you, the worst thing a woman can do uh -huh. is that when a man is down, yes. that you kick him in his yes. neck and kick him down. He can go and build a whole new business. Yes. If you build him up 
If you don't put your right. trust in your spouse, your yeah, spouse is not your true. source, that's right. period. That's the problem with a lot of married couples. You depend solely on your husband. Yeah. You just spend solely on your wife. No, no. God is the source. Yeah, we are supposed right. to be dependent on him. So when tough times come, we get on our knees, yeah. we pray, then we get up and we go get some, we get some education or information from people who actually got it going on. Yeah. We don't sometimes even have to pay. You know that if, if your uncle... It's got a uh, multi-million dollar business or a thriving business or if your grandmother, your auntie or your church member or someone who is financially secure and know how to help you out, go to them. Yes. That's another thing. That's that, pride. Uh, that's pride. pride. When um, mm-hmm. Jill was telling me that um, at our church, what she loved about some of the meetings was that the women were transparent. Right. They came out with it. They said, listen, this is what is happening. Our marriage is falling apart. My kids are falling apart. They prayed. Right. And they saw and, results. And they saw results. Right. Listen, there ain't nothing that God, the, the Bible says, is there anything too big for God? Yes. The problem is we get caught up in fear right. when God had already told us that there's going to be some problems. So one, I think one, the, the when I say that he needs to demand respect, let me tell you something my husband ain't going to ever let me do in this household. He will never let me call him out his name. He will never let me get up in his face. He will show me to the door before he let me disrespect for him. Right. And first of all, he don't have to worry about that because I will never do it. I have right. submitted, I'm submitted to God first, which means that I must honor and respect my husband. Right. So sometimes a husband has to look at a, a wife and say, first of all, you're going to check yourself. You're going to lower your voice right. and you're going to watch your mouth because right. you're not going to talk to me like that. And if you want to talk to me like that, you can leave. Right. A man has to be willing to be the man of his household. Right, but he has to check himself before he says that. What yes. is he not doing? We already, that- listen, we already we already dealt with that part. Okay, yeah. I, I get that he has to do that. He yeah. has to love her. So, I, But I'm saying that's the first thing, that he has to demand that respect. Secondly, is that the Bible says husbands, like you said, husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church. The way you get your wife to, one of the ways God seems to think that the answer to getting respect from your wife is to love her. Yeah. God says the husband's job is to remove the respot- the spots and wrinkle and present him back unto himself a glorious wife, just like Jesus did for the church. Yes. Men don't know how to do that. Some men abuse. They take their fists and they beat on the woman in order to get her to submit. Uh, some men um, use words to down her and to dog her or whatever. But when you get into God's word, you'll find that's not the way God uses uh, what what God teaches a man on how to get that respect and honor from his wife, and the one way he needs to learn that, the one thing he needs to learn how to do is love her. That's yeah, because right. he can't come to my one thing you're not gonna do is disrespect me. <laughs> because listen, my, my, husband husband can. So my husband can. A man's not gonna talk to him. Well, first no, off, because no, I'm not gonna talk no. to him. Anymore. That's what I'm saying. You're coming in here like that. If, He's got to take control of the situation. He does, but it's a way that he does it because a soft he answer sh- return, turns away wrath. Right. Hold on. So wait. he can't be contentious and talk about what you <laughs> not going to do. It's disrespect. about to go there. I can tell when the <laughs> okay. volcano is about, be like <laughs> I can tell when the volcano is about to explode. So you know you dwell it says husbands dwell with your wife for quarter knowledge, but we can say that about our, yes. our spouse. We need to dwell with the so I'm not gonna ever try to get my husband to the point that he's gonna to, that volcano is going That's to right. erupt. Yeah. I even tell my kids he's on six. <laughs> he's on seven right now. You better move out the way. He's on nine. Move. Get out Listen, the room. It's dangerous to get in a man's face because now you look like another man. Too. Right. Yeah. Do yeah. not get in a man's face. You're pushing him. Right. Don't do that. But as, as the as the husband, the way that he come in to respond to that and he yes. cover her, I'm gonna tell you all that coming up, man and up. See, that would soften me up if he come in and say, "Listen, Babe, this I know you concerned. Yes. I know you're afraid." Okay. Show him right. right. Okay. Come in like no, no. no. I'm, we're gonna role play. I'm gonna be her and you be him. Yes. Shut the heck up! I can't stand you with your stupid butt. This stupid job you got. It, this business that you had. Oh, the business is gone. Boom, boom, boom. You thought you were something. <laughs> <laughs> That's how women get. And so a man is not going to say, "Well, baby." I'm not asking like, about that. He but, needs to show his. He needs to show that he's the head of the household. But someone that doesn't. Have, don't have to be that volatile to show disrespect. Yes, disrespect. I understand yes. that. Disrespect, disrespect, I can't even get it out. 
It's <laughs> also, it's also, I'm not cooking for you. I'm not having sex with you. I'm not. Oh, you just wrong all around. I'm not, I'm not coming home when you think I should Why be. Why game? You ain't buying no groceries up in here. What? So wrong. What's the, you know, that's why we say, what does that look like? When he's, what, what is he saying? He said, what do I need to do to get respect from her? So what and that's he what I do? said. And it's what Ty said, he can't say. You ain't going to be right. No, yep. no, no. no. Let me tell you something. Every man there are to, yeah. every man you approach. I don't, I don't care what none of y'all say. Um, and nothing is like a man who who. Yeah, you who, want your husband to stand firm. I want. I'm talking stand about firm, but if he coming up to my what you not no, going to do. I'm not talking about that. As if you be no. I'm talking about if you are calling. Because, listen, there are women out here that are calling their husbands out of their names. They're being nasty in their room, and the men keep letting her do it. I've seen this. Yes. yes. Right. And, yes. and he just let her keep doing that. You cannot let a woman keep disrespecting you. Because just like a just like a man, we said early, just like we said, when the woman allows the man not to buy a gift, to ignore her, and she does nothing, that's her own fault. If a man sits there and let his wife continue to dog him, call him out his name, and he does nothing, I'm not saying, God, listen, first of all, God is not for violence. So I'm not saying violence, but sometimes a man has to be strong. Sometimes he has to say, listen. Just put his foot He down. has to be firm yeah, right. and say, listen, that's not what we're doing. And that's, we're not doing that. That's okay, different but from that, what you said before. Yeah, because you, you also said, 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 you said, you also said, said, and you can leave. So you say the wife, the husband needs to put the wife listen, out. If the wife, <laughs> right. Wait a minute, hold up. You don't like that? You can leave. And the kids yeah, say right there. Leave. And take the bag kids with you. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your clothes. Boom. <laughs> Listen. Take that little button. I think y'all don't think. I, I don't think y'all sometimes. I, I guess. I know. I know that we, we, we can play and all of that stuff. But I, I, I let want it, you let to it know. Tell, tell these, these, you know, Mary's couple about this book. This book is a life changer. For real. What, I know that people book? that have like. You Love know, and respect. A very good book. Yes. Where the one even one single people should be listening, yes. reading stuff like this. Yeah, we need before we promote that. Is there some type of you know, we're gonna go right? Is there it's, some type of endorsement? Are they gonna, are are they they gonna, gonna give us no, nothing? No, 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 Jillian Blackwell is right. in the house. This is a great book that, like, you know, couples or just dating couples or married couple, like, any kind of like, even if you're a single woman, you know what I mean? A single man. Well, Read this book, learn respect. about how Who's to love, Who's how a woman should love her husband and how a, a man should respect his wife. Yes. Because well, if these two this. are met, you have no problem. Yes, absolutely. Then, then, then you're yeah. both equal. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? Well, but here's the problem. This is what most people are dealing with. They're dealing tea. with a person tea. who's stronger and want to be right. They want to love. They want to forgive. You, you pray. You read your word. But then you got this person right. who's not going to read that book. Uh -huh. Right. Mm -hmm. So what they need is to know how do I get what's in that book into them? Mm. Well, in order to do that, By you got to become the book. So the right. woman is yeah. going to apply what she needs to do. Right. As the exactly. woman, how she loves her man from this book. That's right. She's going to like start, you know, doing what the book says for her to do. Yeah. Okay. So what and happens? this is going to like, you know, how. Bro. How my husband had said, like, you know, just by looking at me and the changes in me right. made him want to be yeah. born again Christian. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's when, like, you know, a man is going to look at his wife and I'm like, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. What, what's going on with Yeah. That? Yeah. yeah. He's going to have to. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to have to. How he allows her. her. All that respect that she's with her, given yeah. her. You know, what, like what's going on with does. her? How, well, how he loves on her. He should break all of that down in terms of how his demeanor is, how he coming over. She's afraid. Yeah. He's got to bring, remove the fear from that. Yeah. I understand that. You know, so it's his response to say, listen, I know you're afraid. This is what I, what my plan is. Mm -hmm. And if you can stick with me. Yes. And then what if she said to him, stick yourself. <laughs> what she has. No, she, I'm, I'm serious. This is what these people are dealing with out here. The letters I'm getting, this is what they, listen, I've come to them. I've set them down. We got counseling. They said, I don't want to go. They're total rejection. So tell them the next step then. So the next step is, is she saying, stick it? Yeah. Then <laughs> what his responsibility <laughs> is. You <laughs> heard <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. He said, stick it. <laughs> <laughs> then he needs to stick it, right? No, just <laughs> Well, he needs to go on a court.
accordingly. His his response is not based upon what she's going to do. Exactly. He still got to go with the plan. Thank you. He yep. still got to love on her. Thank he you. still got to work there the plan. Go. Get up every day. Yes. Get that job application. Going back over here. Going back over his business plan again. Mm -hmm. Sitting with financial. Buy. His responsibility doesn't change based upon her response. Okay, so let me say this, what you just said. And I tell, well, when I teach married couples this, this is the best thing that they could do. You must learn how to ignore your spouse. I was you just about got, to, yeah. What you just said sums up what you're telling him is if she still rejects you mm -hmm. after you come to her and try to talk to her, now you got to ignore her and do your job as do a man. Spot. Continue to pray, <laughs> stay in your word, continue yeah, to love yeah, your I'll wife. But you got to ignore her so that you won't fall into sin. Yeah. Because people that don't ignore their spouse when they're being rude and disrespectful, because when you ignore them, what your job is, is to focus on what God telling you to do. Mm -hmm. Not just ignore them in a nasty way. I'm not saying that. I'm saying ignore their rejection, ignore their nasty attitude, ignore whatever they're doing so that you can focus on what God is telling you to do. Because if you allow your spouse... To rule your emotions. Yes. This is why yeah. people are getting up shooting each other in marriage. Mm -hmm. This is why they're stabbing each other in marriage. Because they made their spouse their everything. Yeah. You cannot make your spouse your everything. Why? God says, it's better to put your confidence in me That's than in right. man. Because it's not if your spouse is going to fail you. It's when. It's just Can a matter I, of time. Speaking of failure. So uh, the other question is, why did the business fail? And how many times yes. did your ingenious business ideals put our family in jeopardy. In jeopardy. Because how many marriages have you seen mm -hmm. the husband has this great idea, we're going to take that money that we got in savings and we're going to buy... No, See? no, we're not. So she, that, that could be... That could be, <laughs> that could be, oh, that could be the frustration <laughs> that I have, I have allowed you to leave and you've led us to bankruptcy every time. So you got to ask... So what do we do in that situation? First I'm, I'm, all, being, I'm disrespecting you because you've, you've made, made us bankrupt. Yeah. And I got... But no, no, no. She don't have a right, you to, have disrespect. right, you right to disrespect. You have a right to disrespect, but I'm Even frustrated. Said, okay, well, well now we have to get wisdom. We've had two bankrupts. Listen, there are some very wealthy men who have had several bankruptcies, and they are very Absolutely. wealthy That's now. True. Listen, failures don't mean that you can't be successful in the future. No, but the worst thing you can do is fail in your attitude, fail in your behavior as a believer, as a man. Because he said they are believers. That's what I'm saying. He said they are believers. So if you are a believer... God already warned us that these things are going to happen. Right. So already, I believe, and I believe you about to leave being bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have to get yeah. with them. Now we have to say, okay, babe, listen, this is the second business that failed. Listen, I believe in you. I know that God has called you to pursue a dream, and I want to be there to support you. But, babe, can let's do? Can we do this? Can we go get the financial help? Yes. Can we go get this? Yes. You know, and don't just, because you can kill this man's him. spirit when he will never try again. And you miss right. out on something because every person has greatness in well, them. Well, like Jim right. said, it's a business. And at one point in time, you may have couples that, you know, the woman is take the back seat and let the man be the mm -hmm. provider. But okay, but when there's a failure, mm -hmm. you know, or we'll say a setback. Mm -hmm. At that time, then you have to step up and say, okay, well, let's talk about it. Wait a minute. Now we have to, there, there was something, y'all both said something that keeps bothering my spirit. First of all, you said something um, that she allowed him to uh, be the head of the household. You don't allow him to do that. You know that. what I that's, mean. That's I know, it, but yeah. I want to be clear because we got an audience out here that right. don't know. I know you know. Well, taking and on I know you know. Taking being the head of finances. A lot of women don't know what deals are paid, what bills are not paid, how much bills cost. I, 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 my husband's deal with the finances in my house, but I, I do know what it costs. Summer. Listen, I'm not into that. That's what he does. But but I, I have access course. to all the accounts. Okay, I have access to all the business accounts and all and of that you stuff. Don't win something you would know right. if your mortgage was not paid. Exactly. But when a husband lose his business, I want to be clear to that audience right now that because your husband lose the business and the business falls apart and your income now is supporting the house does not make you. The head of the household oh, oh, in no right. order. Oh, we just want to make sure <laughs> that this. we're not oh, mixing that no, message no, no, no. or anybody's getting confused about this. <laughs> yeah. Because the husband is the head, whether you bring in a hundred thousand right. right. and right. he bring in two dollars. But, right. but the head may be making some irrational decisions with the pot that I'm bringing home yes. now. 
We need to have an intervention at this I point. I get that. I, I, I doesn't still doesn't make him not the head of the household. No, nothing no. makes him not the head nothing, of the household. God nothing. put him in I, position. I'm not, I'm not you. That, but don't, just because you're the head don't mean that you have to make a real irresponsible <laughs> decision. Listen, listen, you know, wait a minute. Both. Both parties. So in, those in are things that you need to pray on and to communicate talk and right. talk about. That's where communication solve. come in. Right. But not you cannot. Uh, <laughs> he's always ahead, no yeah. matter what. Right. No matter what. <laughs> but when I, I know what you're saying. But see, but when you're saying he's see, the you head, got a problem wait a with him being the head. You I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not having a problem with him being the head. <laughs> I'm having a problem with the head making wrong decisions. Listen, I'm not. He needs some help at this point. I don't care. The man needs some help, and, and we right. and we but get that. But I need some help. Just get up and stand by your husband. I get that. We gonna. I'm gonna stand I'm by stand my husband. husband. I'm gonna stand but we gonna get some let financial let advisors in here. Let me have a paycheck. Okay? Yeah, because you. I'm you not managing well. The head is mismanaging it. So y'all, that's where counseling comes in. So that it does not happen overnight, ladies. That's right. I love that. I love Listen, that. This, this is why I'm still single. Cause I ain't got time for Leroy taking the check. <laughs> Leroy, it ain't gonna happen. Look here. Men are going. Listen, men are gonna make mistakes. They're gonna fall short. But what they need is a wife that's gonna be standing back there. Uh -huh. That when they fall, that we're gonna be there to lift them up, not kick them yeah. down. Not looking at like, like, like a life coach exactly. for her husband. That's how a life yeah. should be. Okay. She should be his life coach. Exactly. You know, she who should was, be the who one who's always uplifting him. Oh, who's encouraging yeah. 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 You're, 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 you're the cheer, like, that's you're right. Cheer, right. Get your, your pom poms, boo. Yeah. 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 We have to do that. Yeah. These men, too. They, they, go they, right. they, they fall <laughs> short. They don't And then you got to play a mind. What does him? They don't hide the fact that they made the decision. You do. You can't hide it when they're putting us out on the corner. Our furniture is out of the corner. That's what I'm saying. My head is making wrong decisions. That's not what you about to Okay, y'all, we got three conversations going. We got an audience out here. We acting like it's a girl's night out now. It is. It is, but we got a family. What I'm saying is, like, literally, like, you have to be his life coach. There you right. go. A lot of men, like, they need that. Mm -hmm. You know how their mom, like, tells them what to do? They're not, they're so, they're not smart as us. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm just <laughs> saying. That's, that's why, why they need us. Yeah, I agree. Because in the area, that's that's why they're smart. They're smart. Like, yes. They are smart. They are smart. Yes. But they just, they don't know how to share their emotions. You know, they keep it to themselves. They yeah. don't know how to, like, you know, open up easily like us. Yeah, they don't, absolutely. They don't talk about things like how we just come home like, oh, honey, you know what happened today? Right. You know who, who bo what bothered me today? Oh, they don't just come home. And they, no. they just, like, let it build inside. That's you know right. what you said? You know what you said earlier to me? It really bothered me. For a man, it's going to take him two more months. Especially if he didn't have a Like, what? This was, like, three months ago. Right. Now you're talking about, about it? Right. right. So this is, this is why I say, like, you got to coach him. Like Absolutely. Gotta, like, I agree. And then you got to be like the mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some times. And you, you can get a lot of answers right yeah. when he's yeah. all you know, ready yeah. to have sex. You got to, like, discipline him. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, now you, 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 you get some answers. If it's the out. third day, it's just, if it's three or four days after y'all have sex, if you want a great response, a good answer from your husband, you ask them right then. Uh -huh. Three days after? Oh. No, no, no. When, okay, three days or four days have passed and y'all have not been sexually intimate. Uh -huh. And you want a great response. This is the time to ask them. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now you ask <laughs> yourself all the time. You no. don't say. Because the goal is this. You they get an answer right before. What are you talking about? Why well, I got to wait three days after? No, no, not you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about this is the method for the wife. There's a I method. Have a wife. Yeah, it went, I think okay. you're missing me. Out the door. Ty, give me the next question. Okay, yeah. The next question, because this wasn't even a part of I was about to do our last question, but I just ran across this. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Good morning, because it relates to me. I attended your session yesterday. Uh oh. Good job explaining the difference between luggage and baggage. It was nice, but I woke up in tears crying out to God because your sister, that would be me, said, I'm not ready for marriage unless I position myself that if it never happens, I'm okay. Mm. To be 48 and have been praying for a spouse for over 10 years and children, longer than that, I became a little lost. So, um, yeah. So, Ty, looks like that's an answer, a question for you, boo-boo. She said, she's basically saying that you, she has a problem with you saying that, uh, that that uh, you you said in your message, which you say I heard you say it several times, that you're really not ready for marriage until you don't have to be married. 
And I know exactly what you're saying, but I'm going to let you explain it. Go ahead, Ty. If your life is predicated on the happiness of having a husband, you are in a destitute situation. Mm -hmm. yep. Because no man, no woman, no human being on this earth has the capacity to give you everything that you need. Yeah, you can actually divorce people about that. You one. can ask married people. Yeah, you can you can ask me. Marriage. You can ask me right now. No. Because here's the thing, and I I see this with a lot of single women all the time. And and this is the reason why they settle. Because they're saying, "Listen, that if I can't be married at all, I'd rather take a piece of a man than no man at all." And when you get to that place of desperation, you'll accept anything and you'll be the one in this inbox asking questions because you was you was not willing to go without a man if you had to settle. Huh? My husband went and cheated and brought me eggs. Exactly. Then you're, you're going to be in the inbox. Because you've got to get to the place that if God alone is not enough, if, if God is not enough, then... You have no business being with anybody whatsoever because you're going to try and make them be your savior. You're going to make them be Jesus. Uh huh. Let me, could I please and add responsible that. for your happiness. I, I want to I add that. I want to add to that. The reason why that statement that you made is true, which she needs to understand this, because on the other side of marriage, where I am at, where Jillian is at, where Wes is at, here's the thing. There's going to be times you're going to be lonely in your marriage. Absolutely. There's going to be times when your spouse does not fulfill your dreams, not fulfill your expectations. And you're going to want to run sometimes. But because where we are right now in our marriage now, because my husband is not my everything, because I, make, because I don't put my all in him and, and all of this, I'm now that even, I, first of all, I'm never lonely. Never am I lonely. Why? Because I, I'm securing God. I'm, I'm securing my purpose. I know who I am and whose I am. People get lonely because of loss of purpose. Yep. People get lonely because of loss of a relationship with God. Because when God becomes your everything, all the holes that you have in your life are filled up. And so I never get, I never say, I'm bored. Or I'm lonely, or unless I'm somewhere I don't want to be. And usually I'm never where I don't want to be. Because I came to a place at, at my age, when I turned 40, I said to myself, I never have to be anywhere that I don't, don't want to be. be. Right. I don't. I don't. And I'm not going to appease anybody else to be there for them. Now, I go to support people and things of that sort. But if I get into a space that I feel uncomfortable, I leave. When you're in a marriage, people think that it's single people. Of course, they're going to say, oh, I, I hate that statement. Oh, you got some warm thighs laying next to you. Let me tell you about the warm thighs. <laughs> there are people in marriages right now who have warm thighs in the house, and they don't even want That's all I'm saying. Them. They're sleeping in separate rooms from the warm thighs. They don't want the warm. I, I met a uh, couple uh, uh, who have not had sex in six months, a year, three months, one lady told me five years they haven't yes. had sex. They just ain't together. Yeah, somebody else <laughs> says. Somebody else said this is not happening together. So, so don't look at marriage as not the all question. in all. Really the only well. thing that's the all in all is God Almighty. He will fulfill. But the problem is most people don't allow him to do it. So they never taste and see how great God is. How they I get why Paul said, I'd rather you be just like me because I'm sitting here chilling with God and I am so straight. I get why he listen, said that now. I, listen, I I woke the ass. Let me get real. Let's, uh, Ty want to have sex all day. If she could go and get married right now and have sex with the right guy, she'd be, oh, you know, she she would be all day. All day. She, all day. she already said when all she get day. married, she don't call her for a year. <laughs> don't even call me. I'm not coming to preach. I ain't doing nothing but having sex for a whole year. <laughs> I'm making up for the old and the new. <laughs> Do not call me. Do not disturb. Right. She's going to have a... Uh, she gonna have a one year long do not disturb on her door knob. Yes, I am. <laughs> all right, you are right in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she like tired and wore out. <laughs> Listen, I I I want to be married badly. I've always considered myself to be a wife. I wanted to have the 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 picky fist and the, and the four kids and the, and the half dog or whatever. Half dog. Half, yeah, dog. half of a dog. What kind of dog? That's a stuffed animal or a 
fish or whatever because okay. I ain't got time for a fifth kid. Yeah. But here's the thing. What if that don't happen? Is my life over? Is that predicated? My, if, is my life happiness predicated on a man being in it? No. Is my life going to stop if I never get married? And you got to come to that conclusion. What if, what if the plan that you have for your life is doesn't that? line up? What, what? Is it over? Yeah. I refuse to be unhappy because, oh, I'm single. I, listen, I'm having the time of my life. And, I, and listen, this is why I'm not desperate. This is why I don't date my way through my single life and have a pass by man in there. I don't have that time anymore. Why? Because I've gotten so in love with Ty and the life that I live that it's unnecessary for me to have a pass by boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, God, I'm going to settle because you don't come through. Mm -hmm. If the husband never comes, Ty is going to be straight. Right. She's going to be so happy. Mm -hmm. Over here eating this chicken. Right. <laughs> you don't got to go to your own house and eat your chicken. No, I'm going to come over here. I got the, <laughs> I got the line. And you know, so, and that should be with anything. That should be with anything. Guy, if you never do X, I'm going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. If you never you do... right on that. Yeah, yeah it can be with anything. Yeah. God, if you never... If, if you I don't get the career. If I don't get... The house that you want. If I don't get healed. Whatever it is, that whatever that desire is, Father, I'm believing you for this, but if it never, never happens, happens, I still trust you. Because yeah. you said, yeah, I know my plans right. towards you, plans to prosper you and to give... He said, I want... I, I will never withhold any good thing, but what if it never happens... God, I'm still faithful. 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 God, That's how when the three Hebrew boys was in the fire, they were like, even if God don't deliver yes. us out, I'm still going to worship yes. him. Because God is still God if he don't bless me. If he don't come through with them, and that's the problem with believers, is that it's conditional. We, yeah, we have this, you know, genie in the bottle type of God. You yeah, know, mind you, do you know that God knows how you feel about him, right? In yeah, he does. Hearts. He does. Even if you lie to us, God knows you don't trust him. Yeah. God knows you mad at him. Yeah. I had someone say to me um, um, recently that my, I'm mad at God because he didn't tell this, tell me this about my husband. And I'm mad at God that this didn't happen. And I said, well, that's a sign of, first of all, a lack of trust. Yeah. First of all, God will never leave you without wisdom. Mm -hmm. Never. We ignore it. We make decisions on our own. We marry people because we say, oh, God told me to do it. God ain't said nothing. Because God is not going to make a decision for you. Right. God will never over outride your will. Do you know that God knew that Eve was sitting there talking to the to the uh, spirit, uh, to Satan. Don't you know that he knew? He wants Why did he come in there and stop her? Why? Because, let me tell you something, God will never go up against a human's will. Yeah. That's the one thing that God can't do nothing. That's why he came to you and said, I set before you who has, who I gave yeah. the will to you. That I, God has borders that he has made himself not to cross. He cannot cross your will. So if your will is not to trust him, if your will is not to do what he told you to do, God cannot stop you. He told you, listen, you do this, this is what's going to happen. He told Adam and Eve, you eat of this tree, you're dead. Period. Yeah. You, Everything else you can have. Yeah, he tells Same the man, thing. Love, your, love your wife, love your wife. He tells the woman, respect your husband. Yeah, respect the your man is the head of the house. The man is the head of the house. That's Whatever, right. if if we just follow what he tells us. Right. Yeah. Exactly. If, he just, if we just stay Focus on him no matter what. Yeah. That's that trust. That's that, That's yeah. that, no matter what. Whether it, um, uh, Paul says, I, I've learned um, the this great ability to, to be content in all things. Yeah. Whether I'm rich or I'm poor. Whether, you know, exactly. It doesn't matter what state I am. I have I have got to this place where I'm content. Where however God will have me. Exactly. That right. I'm in this situation and it's something I'm supposed to learn. And we've got to always remember that Jesus is our friend. Yes, he is. Oh, yes. And he is the the first friend that we've yeah. ever had. Yes. Absolutely. You know, when people say my BFF, mm -hmm. Jesus is my BFF. Yeah. Jesus is Trust my it. first. Yeah. Trust Absolutely. You can always turn to him and yeah. lean on him yes. and talk to him yes. as yes. if you would to how I'm yes. talking to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something, Wes. Um, I know that in your culture, um, what is um, what is the biggest problem in marriages in your culture? Um, the biggest problem. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Does the does the, the men love their wives? Is. Do they have submission issue? Do the husband have, they do have are domineering? Issue. They do have submission issues. 
some take it to like you know extreme and some like they have the right to have it like because this is what god says you know right. what i mean mm -hmm. so every situation is different just mm -hmm. like in any other culture you right. know what i mean right, right. we don't mm -hmm. have like a specific like issues in them mm -hmm. like as far as like you know chaldean men they just want to be respected right yeah African and this is nothing they ask <laughs> for you know, that is more than what God has told us to do. Right. Respect exactly. your man. Yeah. They want to be the head. They want respect. That's but awesome. there are lots of them that just leave their wife there. And, you know, they go and they do. They think they can go and do whatever. And then they come home. The wife have to be submissive. And, mm. no. Right. That doesn't work yeah. for you, right? No, <laughs> you said, no, no, no. That's for them. That's yeah. not for me, right? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I'm not just going to stay with you and be with you because, oh, you buy me stuff or I have a nice home or I you bring me a nice car or mm -hmm. my bills are paid and I got credit cards in my pocket. No, I'm mm -hmm. going to stay with you because you love me, Absolutely. because you respect me, because I respect you, mm -hmm. because, you know, there is there is this this love and affection. Common love, between right. Us. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to stay with you because of what you do for me, because you know what? God will provide. Yes, God yes. will provide. This is what yes. women need to, like, you know, come to and realize, like, you know what? Don't be with a man because he's buying you stuff. Right. right. No, be with him because he loves you. Absolutely. That's right. Be with him because... You know, not not because of what he's buying for you. Right. These are all materialistic things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not like, you know, just a card from the heart. Yes. He comes home and he wrote you a card from his heart with his... On a face. random day, oh, not on any day. I told my husband a day. Any day. Any, any, day. Day. any day. I told my husband You day. know, this is worth more than so many, like, you know, Chanel bags right. and, and big house and, and right. vacation oh, and all that I knew, stuff. I knew. <laughs> Like, but my know. husband, no. um, early this morning, we were watching TV doing something, and uh, it was cold in our bedroom. And I, he needed to, and I wanted him to go get me something. And he got up out of the cold. See? That it was small things. Like go ahead, Glenn. Like, well. Small things. I, and I told I him, said, to the, I said, babe, you, you know what you what blessed me? He's like, look. I said, you got up late in, early in the morning. And he said, really? I was that's like, all yeah, you need. That's all you need. Well, like we that, don't want right? money so no more. Say, <laughs> so when he come and say, you know, your husband come and say, well, I'm gonna have to go see, go to get a pay care. I ain't gonna say what I was about to say. <laughs> go get a pay care. Must say to me, but go get a pedicure or something. You might, you know. Go on and get the foul out and do the damn feet. Right. I don't have to sit them over there and do the Oh, absolutely. Right. Or yeah. say, my back hurt. I, you know, <coughs> I, I go I, with I, him. I moved the wrong way and. You know, I pull the muscle. Get a man a massage. I know, Lord, right. Lord. Lord. Right. Learn how to low, low. Really, really marriage and relationships is really a selfless act. If we it is. People you like have to, to be feel very them. giving. Loving, kind, that you know, you really want to make the other person feel amazing at all times. That's what we really want. And every time, if you can trace a problem back in relationships, it's always because someone was being selfish. Mm -hmm. Like I'm being selfish right now. I gotta go home. You ain't taking <laughs> this food with you. I don't need to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You'll be like, well, but I need to. I need a plate to go. Oh, but, no, no, no. I'm just kidding. But she cooked dinner tonight for the family. Hey, <laughs> That's why I'm over here. Right, right, right. Take so care of we want to thank Jillian for being here. We're gonna take one more question. Um, we're gonna let Jill go because her husband has already said check that in. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and we got to make sure she's gonna be submitted to that. But we gotta go because we are well past the time. But I wanted it to be a nice length of time tonight because this is the first Solution Sundays for um, the winter of 2018. And so, Ty, I know you had one more uh, question on there, and I want to uh, tackle that, and then we'll go from there. Okay. We'll close out. The that. last question is from another single woman. She is 20 years old, mm -hmm. and she is engaged, and she says she has no idea about marriage. Mm -hmm. Give her advice. What should she do? Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Clumsiest friend I got, I tell you. <laughs> okay, so she has no no idea about marriage, but she's engaged. Yep. Tell her to cut the engagement off. Don't do that to him. She's 20, too. Don't do it to him. Well, don't do it to him or don't do it to himself. Also. Yeah. People are afraid to say, listen, I'm not ready right now. Yeah. I'm scared of me. 
Because she, she's crying out. She's like, listen, I don't know. Where, she's not even talking about him right now. She's talking about herself. Don't do that to nobody. You don't do but that to nobody. But it may be a situation. She's 20. He may be just as young and both of them are clueless. That's listen, the reason. Listen, that's not saying she's going to go get married next month. She has time for them to work together, figure things out, figure mm -hmm. each other out, and grow together. Yeah. Get counseling. Because you're 20. <laughs> you got time. <laughs> yes. Get counseling. Um, Talk to people that's been married 30, 40 years. Nobody's been married two years, five years. Yeah. You know, these old crazy people don't have healthy marriages. Um, Get to a Bible-based church. Get into your word. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not saying... She's not saying that you're going to go and get married tomorrow. But before you get married, make sure you're not saying, I have no clue. Well, usually when There's people get engaged, usually within a year, and unless these people, they're, they, okay, so there's people that, there are men who get engaged with a woman to shut her mouth. We know that. And those engagements last for five years. But usually when someone, a man asks a woman to marry him, the family and everyone is getting prepared for a wedding. What I'm saying is, take the ring off for right now. Get the counseling and the information that you need so that you can be feel secure about what you're about to do. Listen, we do this in every other area. If we want a job, we go to school for it, right? When we go get a driver's license, we go to a driver's school, we take a test, we study, we learn, then we get a license. You need to stop, drop, and roll. Stop. What, what you're doing, don't go no further. Drop the ring. Just, just drop it. And roll your butt over to a class, whether it be a church. They, many churches. You don't even have to go to your own churches because there's a lot of churches that, um, even at uh, Brightmore, we hold a lot of classes there. Mm -hmm. A lot of we, engagement classes, marriage classes, business classes. Go to them. We, we just won't go get the information. And so we don't go get the information. We marry the person anyway. Then the marriage falls apart. We're at the goal line at church and we're crying out. I'm tired of that. We have got to say, listen, people want to, oh, well, you don't necessarily have to tell them. No, we, this is serious. Marriage is the most vital second decision. The first decision, most um, the vital decision you'll ever make in your life is making God your Lord and Savior. The second most important decision you'll ever make is deciding who you're going to marry. It could be a deadly decision. People are dying because of the person <laughs> that they decided to marry. They're divorcing. One divorce, two divorce, three divorce, four divorce because we're not getting the information. Because we're failing to go out here and get an understanding so that we can learn where we went wrong, where they might go wrong, and we'll know how to rightfully pick the person, too. Because sometimes you'll see something on somebody and you'll think, oh, that's not bad. Well, no. Gambling problem is a problem. Right. You shouldn't marry a person who has a gambling problem mm -hmm. before you get married. That's a problem that can go huge. So they might not know that. Or if this person is, they're untrustworthy. You, there are times that you don't know where they are. They stop calling you. They're untrustworthy. They don't know that that's a sign that, oh, you might want to put on the brakes. So I believe that people, people need to drugs. stop running into... Marriage is a serious decision. It's a serious decision. This is somebody you're going to have children with. This is someone who's going to... You're going to carry their name. This is someone who's going to have your bank account numbers. Who's going to share the same <laughs> bed with you. I'm, that's just is a serious well, that's issue. 20. Mm -hmm. right. Still, at 20... I've been with my husband since 23 years old. And I'm... Listen, God says to marry young. And I believe the reason why God says to marry young is because... When you get 40 and you meet, so if a woman is 40 and you meet a guy that's 43, that's 43 years you know nothing about. It's 40 years, so it's harder. You don't get a lot of uh, experience up under your belt. You know? But when you grow, when, when you get married young, y'all grow together and y'all grow, y'all learn mistakes together. You get over those, prayfully, you get over those mistakes there's more problems later. Then there's kids involved at 40 and 45 years old. So God is saying, in, in that, I believe that what God is saying, the reason why he says get married young is because you do have less problems because we just get both got out of our mother's house. But it doesn't mean that you should not go get information before you get into this right. marriage stuff. Right. That's now, wrong with getting married young. God even um, agrees with that. But you should not go in crazy. She, to me, she sounds scared. 
She, she should be. Afraid. And she, she should, should be. Because this is a serious issue. Very afraid. And, and and we're talking about a girl that's 20 years old. And here's the problem. She's already accepted the ring. Mm. And that's what we're doing. We're getting in relationships based on I like you, you like me, I like hot sauce on my chicken. <laughs> we like the same rodeo films, rest of, re, western movies. And we're not, we don't understand what sustains a lifelong successful marriage. Mm -hmm. We don't have the capacity or the wherewithal. Right. We haven't even developed our own personal relationship with Christ. And because of that, we are failing at love and relationships. Well, you saw on the news where the young lady went, she allowed her fiance, I guess she saw something on him and she was like, oh no, I can't marry you. So she let him come over to get the ring. When he came over, he stabbed her to death. Right. And then he jumped out of her window and killed himself. This is why I'm saying she saw something. Usually when a woman like this is afraid, she probably she said, sees something. Yes. You don't take this stuff lightly. People crazy out here. They don't lost their mind. You need to know what's going on. Are you dealing with it? If they call them crazy Joe, why your family call you crazy Joe? <laughs> you know, or... or or crazy Susie or whatever, find out. You need to know what you're dealing with. This is not a, this is not a decision to be made lightly. People are putting, a man just put his wife on fire. She would have never thought when she was going down that aisle, you know what, one day you're going to put me on fire. She oh, never thought that. 2020 yesterday? Yeah. Was it 2020, I believe? Mm -hmm. Or what was it? No, yeah, not when night. she was going that aisle. But that she that missionary guy who killed his wife. I'm sorry? He was, he was a, 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 a missionary. Like He was one of those, like, he, they adopted some girl from I forgot the name of the country. What did and he do? He ended up like sleeping with her okay. and killing his wife oh, on he Valentine's was, he's Day. He's on missions trips. He's on missions He's on a different mission. He's on a different mission. He ain't on the battlefield for the Lord. He ain't on the battlefield for the Lord. Like his he's this man supposed to be like God fearing man. You right. Know? Out here helping out the less yeah, fortunate, right? Out, yeah, uh -huh. Well he helped out somebody he thought and was less fortunate. And then he killed fortunate. his wife on Valentine's Day. Wow. Wow. See, that was his gift to his we listen, we, wow. we we have not developed the capacity for love. We have we don't understand or do not have discernment as to what we should look for. We're giving the green light on red flags. You see the stuff early on. Mm -hmm. And red red flags to me are non negotiables. It was on dateline. Mm -hmm. I think. Red flags to me are non-negotiables. Yeah, uh -huh. red flags. Are you know, if you see a red flag, that's usually a non-negotiable. No, that's usually the but Holy Spirit. But there are a lot of people that are so naive. They have no experience in relationships. Or they got they too much see, experience. Or they, they don't see the red flags. You know what I mean? They yeah. don't. They, they yeah. don't recognize them. They don't know any better. Well, that's why you go get help and stop yeah. trying to do life by yourself. Because then your girlfriend, when you sit that guy in front of them... Y'all go out to eat. This is why I think all people, whether you a guy or a girl, you dating somebody, put them in front of your friends because you might be all googly, but they're going to sit there yeah, and say. Yeah, but you know what? There are a lot of women, even if the friend, her friends tells her like, you know, yeah. he's no good, he's doing this and he's doing that. Then you turn around and then you're like, oh, no, they're just jealous. Right. Well, right. well let her you know, go ahead like, and marry him and she's going to see what happens as a result of that. Yeah. Because you can't, again, you can't go up against a person's will. Because uh -huh. at the end of the day, they got to make the decision. But I'm going to tell you right now, you sit in front of me. Uh, if, if of a wife sit in front of me and she's dishonoring her husband, I'm going to say something. Right. If something's not right, if you're, if you're my girlfriend and you're dating and you bring the guy over here and he's looking a little tricky, I'm going to tell you. That's right. You know, and you can take it whatever. And if you think that I'm hating on you, uh, <laughs> I mean, for real. You must not know my heart because I have no reason to hate on you, right? When you know that people love you and yeah. trust you, that's the people that you put in front of the people that you're dating. Because sometimes in the beginning, a lot of times in the beginning of a relationship, all it is is infatuation. And people are just excited because somebody like them or somebody find them cute. Well, it that depends on that age, too. She's been yeah, that's, that's, that's why infatuation should not be... Right. Oh, no, no. Grown people are dealing with infatuation. 40, 50 years old. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you. <clears throat> 47. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're about to go. I want to thank you all for joining me for Solution Sundays at 7. I want to thank again uh, Dr. Ty Adams. I want to thank my cousin Ray. I want to thank my girlfriend Wes. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank you for joining us right here. We had a good time. I hope you guys just enjoyed this. Listen, again, if you have any questions, concerns, issues that you're facing in your relationship, you can inbox me here or you can go to my website, Mrs. Toy Banks dot com and put your um, information just leave me your information just tell me a quick story don't send me three pages don't do that to me okay <laughs> try to be clear and quick you will remain anonymous we will not say anything about who you are but I want you to know I do not answer questions outside of Solution Sundays however if you want coaching I do offer that go to Mrs. Toy com thank you all again for joining me my niece Jana I want to thank her behind the camera Woo! everybody Jana. <laughs> but she's going to be able to enjoy some of the food now. All right, y'all. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife in For Better Wife, Better Life, helping you balance it all. God bless.